True justice is only by natural law. We need strong voices more than ever. We need people getting out there, doing the work that is the one great work, that is to educate others in order to free others. Because that's what we need. Not the education system we have now, the education of what is nature, what we are losing as humanity, because we are forced to follow all the mask mandates, all the, the mandates that are thrown onto us in degrading our social lives. Look at your life. How you can't do this, can't do that. Look at those who have been imprisoned. How they tried to save their families and they can't. Or they've spoken up against the government and they're not allowed. Look at the people online who are independent media content creators and they're speaking their mind and they're censored. That cannot continue. People need to be strong. They need to be vigilant. They need to get the voice out there. And they need to do it now. They need to do it now. And when the time is right, the voices fall. And they fall low. The call. They fall to the rising of the depths of the ocean. Where the tides drive into the land and wipe out the structures that be that don't belong in nature. That's not to say destruction, it's to say rebuilding, it's to say regeneration. The plants regrown. What is this in society that I'm allegorically speaking for? It is... The building of consciousness. The building of humanity coming together and saying, we do not have the right to be rule over. No one has the right to do so. And it is not right to do so. Both. Because we are free and we are sovereign and we recognize that truth and thus we embrace it and we take action toward it. We're no longer cowardice into saying we cannot and that we should not and that we should only obey. That is what's dangering us more than anything. Is our cowardice to ourselves, our fear of freedom. Our fear of those up above these people we don't even know foreign to us. But we feel like we have a moral obligation to obey and they have a moral obligation to lead. And no, you don't. You don't. You full right can declare your independence by simply being free and saying no. That's it. But it's not that simple because all the founding fathers spoke of education for freedom and the very thing you need to educate about is natural law and natural rights. Once you know your rights, you know So you can say no. You know why you own yourself. You know why nobody can take that from you. Nobody can grant you rights and nobody can revoke your rights. They are your own and they come from nature. They don't come from man. And so if you can speak out in public about it, if you can make public presence about it, if you can make that public... And you are making the impact. And so make a speech as this. Bring it out to people. Show your passion. You need to have passion. If you don't have passion, then don't do it. But I am passionate about it. And it's come a time for it. I see the necessity for it. Voices are needing to be heard. For it is the very voices that are being suppressed. And there's even more of a need for voices that need to be heard. There's even more of a need for voices to be amplified. Through the tunnel of which was closed off before by those who just want to keep everything shut. Including our mouths. Including our businesses. Including our ability to live free. We simply want to live free. How hard of that is it? How hard is it to simply be free? question that because I'm actually asking you to question. I'm not asking you to believe me. Unlike what the other folks are doing. I'm telling you to question your life. I'm telling you to question authority because they don't want you to question authority. They want you to trust them and think that they are indeed correct and that they do indeed have the right to rule over you and you don't have to question any of that they say because it's innately right and there's nothing that you can do to change it all. 
you know, it's inherent to nature, apparently, to just rule over millions of people with some small hundred of people who can just call themselves politicians, put them a fancy, uh, you know, suit and tie, tax you, and that's where they're getting their money from. Does this make any sense when it all goes to war, when it all goes to pharmaceutical companies? Where's that money going? It's not helping us. Direct, voluntary coexistence is the path of nature. Say this, say that, this ideology, that ideology is not about that. It's not about the isms. It's not about grouping ourselves into certain collectivist mindsets. It's about awakening the human spirit with freedom. And everybody wants it, so do not suppress it. Otherwise, you are suppressing your human nature. So speak out. Otherwise, you will lose your human nature. Use it before you lose it. I don't have to say who I am. I'm simply a fellow messenger among you. And you can make these voices of your own. You can make these messages that sail into the wind for all to hear because the gust pulls them by. And they feel it because they're in that environment. The wind pulls their way because they know that they will be exposed to it, and there's nothing they can do about it. They have to embrace that wind. What, are they going to try to fight against the wind? They can try to fight you. But if they know that wind is pulling them toward the direction they want to go, and that wind is of nature, then they're going to want to follow nature because they want. They know that it's also following their own conscience. They know it's following their own values. They, in deep down inside, want freedom themselves. And thus, why should not anybody seek that freedom and speak freely about it as the truest expression of freedom? Again, to use it so not to lose it. This is what we must do as humanity. Do not ignore the call. Do not ignore this message. Get out there and do it. Promote nature is the answer. For we need one binding creed, at least that of which is actually universal, actually rooted. For we actually need change. And it should be evident to those who do want freedom. Because it is evident that we need it. Thank you.